Okay, hi again. And as you can see from me, I got two tapes from the Honeymooners Lost episode series that MPI Home Video released back in the 90s. And this is part of my Amiibo shopping haul, if you're wondering. And they were put on clearance, both for a dollar. I have tape 39 and 36. Those are the episodes on the back. Now, they've released the whole VHS series on DVD, which I'm planning on getting. It's about a hundred bucks right now. Hopefully, MPI decides to run a sale soon because, yeah, I'm not going to be paying a hundred dollars for I don't know how many episodes, but it's very interesting. Also, one thing to notice is that if you look at the sides here, you can see they're They're like fragments of the uh, picture that the tapes would make if you put them back into the case. So that's interesting. Next thing I got is uh, a tape here. Well, also, these are all VHS tape related items. This is the huge 7 tape You Bet Your Life set with Drugs and Words. Now, this is released on a bunch of things. They, I believe these are the public domain episodes because this series has only gotten one official release, and that was from Shout Factory a long time ago. Four ninety nine, still sealed, and this is from Marathon Music and Video. So twenty one episodes. There's the back. And, uh, let's get to this. I have to find where I put my... Yeah, there we go. I already have some of you that your life on DVD. So I'm wondering if these are the same episodes just on tape or not. I plan on getting Shot Factory releases soon. Yeah, so there we go. There's the entire set unboxed. Since you were been recording in SP mode, so this, yeah, one, one. Yeah, we'll take a look at volume one. Here's what volume one looks like. All of them look. The same as just the fronts have different pictures in this little box area here. There's the side of the tape. There's the back. I think they have different descriptions. They should have different descriptions in the back, right? Yeah, they do. Uh, the second tape is 68 minutes. So, that's different. See down here, it's from 1998. Marathon Music and Video or Das Star Corp. Huh, that's a new tape that I've never seen before. This is this is quite interesting. Tape. If you look at volume one, you can see that they stuck a sticker over what was originally on there. You can see that. So I'm guessing they probably used like the previously viewed tapes or something to put these on. Hold on one second, let me see if I can pick the volume tape here, let's see. Yeah, volume two volume two doesn't appear to have uh the stickers stuck onto it. Um volume three. Yeah, that's weird. Because volume one seems to be the only one that has a sticker stuck onto another sticker. And it looks like they're using different tapes too. So 
so if I get lucky, if I pop these in, I might actually be able to find some something recorded onto the end of these. Huh. Yeah, that's weird. One of them has like a little red thing on the reel. Another one has a gray thing on the reel. This one also has a red thing on the reel. Feels a little bit heavier than the others too. So uh, that's quite interesting. Let's put these all back in. I do wish they'd do this kind of thing with DVD box sets where the spines form one giant picture or something like that instead of having the markings telling you what season it is on one side. Yeah, so that's something I'm going to have to do some research on, see if there's anything at the end of these things. I did find something on the end of uh, the Public Domain Andy Griffith tape that's also on this channel. It's pretty interesting. I don't know what I don't know where it comes from, but the quality is pretty bad, so I'm guessing the quality of the thing found at the end of these, at the end of these tapes, if there is something at the end of these tapes, is going to be pretty poor too. But I guess that's up for me to find out, so yeah, there's that set. I fast forward a paper, and I didn't know if this was brand new or not when this was on the shelf, but it is because it has the white label on it. Yeah, this is the Best of I Love Lucy collection. This is $3. It's 10 episodes on two tapes, so five each. Apparently it's the 10 most popular episodes, the... Get that off there. The only ones I really realize are like, the ones I know most here are the ones where she does a TV commercial, the one where she gets a job, and the one where she goes to Italy. Haven't... I don't think the other seven here are the most popular. <laughs> what they say here. So recording in VHS Hi-Fi, I don't know if my VHS, I don't know if my VCRs are, have like a Hi-Fi option to them or not. They don't say anything on the front, so I don't think they do. Doesn't really matter though. The backs have little short descriptions about them, well they're not really descriptions, they're just like, ooh, see Lucy do this and insert episode title here. And they have the Paramount seals on the bottom. That's what the fronts look like. And they have the Paramount home video thing stamped onto the side there. Hidden uh, TV. Ah, the seals on the inside. Obviously, but it's stuck onto the actual teeth too, which I don't like. Oh, that's nice. Come out, cut the seal already. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, so they're just as what I uh, what I expected. Tape goes all the way to the end, so I'm guessing these used to be blank tapes and they just stuck their own labels on them. to 
see how the quality is like. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm not gonna put the, uh, you bet your life set on here because I don't have room for that, but you already know what that looks like. The first thing I'm probably gonna do is check out what the, what's at the end of the you bet your life tapes. So, that's gonna be fun. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.